What's up? This is your boy F.A. Styles. You already know what it is, and we live on Lake Street, as always. Summer 16 right around the corner, and we got an exclusive interview today brought to you by WMG with three Bs. So don't get comfortable. No, 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 seriously, don't, don't get comfortable. So the first question I want to ask you is, how long have you been pursuing your music career for? Three of them. Um, I said, I've been doing this hard and focused and all the way in for about five or six years. Five, six you know, years? Yeah, about five, six years strong, you know, fully committed to it, building a brand and just trying to um, evolve from music to clothing to fitness to everything. So I said about five, six years. Okay. And what's your purpose behind all of it? Like, like what, what's, what is it that really drove you to do this and pursue this like this? Uh, my purpose is to, to help 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 people grow and be better right not only through music but in fitness and in health everything so within my music i tell my story on top of that i want to inspire people and motivate people that you can come from nothing and once you get out of there you can go back and help people do the same so that's what i do i want to inspire i want to grow i want to motivate i want to inspire i mean all that in one right. i want to keep it organic you know grow. Right. okay and then um what does organic mean Basically, what organic means is, you know, everybody know definition of basically, you know, the food-wise and everything like that. But how I transition that to my brand is I just keep it organic. I keep it fresh. I keep it real. You know, I bring growth. I want positive energy. You know, that's what organic means to me. You know, you got to stay fresh. You okay. know, you got to keep it real at all times. You got to grow. You got to be positive. That's what I mean by keeping it organic. So yeah. that's my brand, and that's what it is. Keep okay. it organic, champ. Right. So, where are you organically from? I'm organically homegrown from San Diego, California, right? That's where I'm originally from. That's where I'm organically bred. That's where my seed was sprouted from, okay. San Diego, California. Nice. You know, so I've been in Minnesota about 10 years now, though. So, I call this my second home now, and I, and I love it, and I appreciate it. Okay. So, what, so, so what inspires 3Bs? Like, what, 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 what inspires you... Uh, maybe a person that inspires you or in the music industry, is this somebody who you look up to that you're inspired by? Um, basically what inspires me is to, to see people change, see people grow also. Um, that's my inspiration because I saw what I did with myself so I know what other people can do with their self. And as an inspiration, I always look at historical figures. Like I never look at people I can could, I could see now. I always look at, you know, I, my favorite figure of all time was like Genghis Khan, you know? He's just an ultimate leader and conqueror, and, and that's my mind state. You know, I want to I wanna be a leader. I want to help people, you know, obtain everything they want to obtain. So that's why my mantra is, you know, billionaire before Barry, one of my three B's meanings, because if I'm a billionaire, I can help people get millions, and that's the whole mind state. It's not just for me, it's for everybody. Right. So like, music industry-wise, I look up to anybody who came from nothing, who made it out. I don't even pick nobody particularly. I just look up to anybody who made it from nothing, made themselves something, and they feed their family and feeding their people. So anybody out there doing it, I just salute them all, and I enjoy, I enjoy watching people, you know, come up. Okay, that's what's up. So what do you do beyond the music? What do you, what do, you do besides that? Besides my music, um, most people know me for, um, you know, I was a basketball player before, so I do basketball training. I love the kids. You know, that's one of the things I'm going to always do is touch the kids. You know, that's where it starts at, you know. Yeah. And through sports, you help integrate everything. It's no, it's no color lines in sports. You know, it's no nothing. So once you touch a kid and help them grow within sports, you help them change their life. You know, they got, they're more personable. They're more interactive with other kids. They're more sociable. So I love, I, I do basketball training, and I enjoy that. Also, I do a clothing line. You know, I got a clothing line called Organic, also called Gargoyle Status. So I do my clothing line. I also do the basketball training, and also I do a lot of fitness stuff like that. I got a lot of, I got my hands in everything, man. I'm like an octopus, man. I got my tentacles <laughs> everywhere. You know, bam, bam. That's what's up. You I'm got to touch everything. Yeah. Okay. So what? Did, so where did the name Three Bs come from? Like, what? Did, what does it stand for? And where did it come from? Well, basically, Three Bs has a lot of meanings. It's a mantra. It's not just a name. It's a, it's a way of life. You know. Um, okay. Originally started as. You know, I just felt so blessed, you know. I'm blessed beyond belief. I come from nothing, and, I, and the people listen to me, they inspire by me, so I'm blessed beyond belief, you know. So that's where it originally came from, blessed beyond belief. Okay. And I always had a mind state was business before bullshit. Like, that's my mind state. I would never allow the bullshit become, um, take over anything. So I always handled my business first. Right. Because I never took a drink. I never smoked. I never did a drug in my life. Really? So my okay. mind was always focused on business first. It's business before bullshit. Like I said earlier, Billionaire before buried also. 
You know, it's, it's, it's more than just money-wise. It's wealth, health, you know, helping other people obtain the same goals you get. So it's billionaire before buried. You know, it's bros before bitches. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You got to have that. This is where it is. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that. It's a lot more. It's a lot more. Also, babe before bitches. <laughs> babe before bros. Okay. If you got a main chick, you got to make sure she's straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even before your niggas, you got to make sure your girl on point. Right. You know, this is real facts. And if you got other little bitches, you know, <laughs> make sure your number one is right. That's it's just organically real shit. You know what I mean? From the seed. Always. Yes. Okay, so it's interesting because there's actually a restaurant called Three Bees. Have you ever ate there before? I haven't ate there before, but I've seen it and I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Heard they, about they, it? And then they dropped me a check. <laughs> hey, Three Bees, I need that money now or I'm in there. That's <laughs> real. Don't play That's with real. me. You got to make sure that you get it all. Of ways. course, of course. They got to, um, one of those little fry, uh, was it flamethrower burger or something? They got a three beast burger. I need my money, motherfucker. <laughs> Coming for you. So, look, okay, now I want to ask you, is there anything that you regret up to this point um, that you, you may want it to take back or, or redo differently, you know, being in the position and being the person that you are now, pursuing your music how you are now? Um, basically, I wouldn't take anything away or regret anything from what I've been through because it all helped me grow. It's all part of my process, right? And if I took something away, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I wouldn't be in the spot I am now. So I appreciate my ups and downs. Three Bs also mean bosses bounce back. I embrace my losses. I embrace my failures because all they're going to do is make me stronger. It just added more pieces to my armor. Right now, I'm indestructible. I done been through so much. I've seen so much. Nobody could even tell because I eat that up. All they're going to do is make me go harder. It made me look at motherfuckers, okay, don't fuck with them type people, boom. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret it. It is what it is. I'm going yeah. to win. Yeah. I'm going to win at the end. It's all about the conclusion. It's not about the present. It's not about the past. It's all about the end. And my ending going to be glorious. There's no question. So I appreciate my ups and downs. No regrets. Oh, that's what's up. That's a good answer, man. Um, and then another thing is, so what's your top five, um, like, favorite musical artists? Um, of all time? Of all time. Of all time, I say, my favorite is, um, I like Jay-Z, of course. Musically, like, if you think about it, most people gonna know every single damn Jay-Z song you ever did, you know? People don't know that, but they really will. Um, so I like Jay-Z and also his shit, just from his business mind, you know, till his motherfucking woman, like, come on now, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta equate that now. Yeah, she's pretty she bad. Worth a, you know what I mean? And that bag is on top of a bag. So you gotta go with Hov. Um, I like Big L of his lyrical ability. You know what I'm saying? His confidence on the mic. I always love Big L. Also, um, I'm from the West Coast, so I really like Easy E. You know, not only how he um, how he really was business-wise, but just how his voice was and how how, his rep how he represented himself. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like Easy E, and he put on a lot of big acts. People don't know. You know, Bone Thugs. He was part of that. But Dr. Dre, none of what happened without Easy. People got to understand that, and yeah. that's still to this day. It's something he started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's still Definitely. going on right now. So I like Easy E. I like Jay Z. Big L, um, who else I enjoy a lot like, on? Um, I like the, even I like 50 Cent too, the original 50 Cent, that Get Rich or Die Trying 50 Cent, the mixtape 50 Cent. You know, he was an inspiration, man, to see a guy come from that and be who he was and who he is now. So I like 50 Cent a whole lot too. And um, one more, that's four. Yep. Boom, bang, yep. boom, bang. <laughs> one more of them. One more, let me go yeah. with, um, let, me, let me go with uh, Notorious Big. Okay. Yeah, I like Big okay. too. I like Big too, just we for his wordplay. And he, you gotta understand, he only had two albums, and his impact still felt to this day. So that's a, that's an icon in life. Yeah. You know, that's an icon in, in the history of our world. So you gotta appreciate a motherfucker that's put out two projects and still be felt to this day like that. Notorious Big, nigga. <laughs> Definitely. So okay, now let's 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 take it to locally. All right. So in Minnesota, what are your feelings and thoughts about? the music here, like the support, and like, how, how do you feel about the local music? Oh, hold on. Let me, let me sip some of this organic motherfucking elixir <laughs> to purify my answer. I would say, man, listen, locally in Minnesota, it's, it's growing, you know? It started as nothing, you know? It's organically growing. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first was here, it wasn't that big of a music scene like that, especially rap-wise. But now I see the seeds is growing to roots. I see the tree forming, and the fruit is about to come. So people supporting more. 
artists is um, giving each other more support and showing love. The people is coming and coming to local shows now, not just big acts. So Minnesota is turning to a powerhouse. I say this time next year, gonna have a couple national acts on. You know, most likely go, I'm gonna be one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, TV, movies, everything. Three of them will be doing. Fuck with me, but um, it's a lot of dope acts here. There's a lot of real people here, and um, I appreciate Minnesota. So Minnesota is, is is blossoming right now organically. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, so. Another thing is, when can people expect like a new body of work from you? When are you dropping like a new mixtape? Can we get like an insight on that? Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, I finished my new mixtape. It's called Mr. Organic, the movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at me. Look at my stature. I'm a fucking superhero, right? So Mr. Organic, the movie is gonna drop. Um, I say about June 15th. It's already done. I must add a little tweaks and plots and little interludes and stuff like that. So this is gonna be my seventh mixtape, man. You know, I I embrace the journey. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that. Some people do, some people don't. This is going to be my seventh solo mixtape. You know Isn't what I'm it? saying? Non-stop work. And um, so, yeah, so I say about June 15th, I'm going to drop my new project, Mr. Organic, the movie, <laughs> The God. That's what's up. Um, and then another thing is, I know you mentioned that, you know, you got your own clothing line. You, you make your own clothing. So where can people find that at? Like, if, if they want to get some of that organic streetwear, where can they cop it? Yeah, yeah, if you want some of that organic clothing, man, you can hit me up on my IG, um, at three of them. You know what I'm saying? That's at three, O-E, I mean, at three, O-F-E-M-M, -M, at three of them on Instagram. Or you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm the number one Snapchat nigga on earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trust me. You know me. You watch that. You know what it is. Um, at <laughs> Mr. Underscore Organic with a K. M-R underscore Organic. Instead of a C, bitch, put a K. You know what I'm saying? Hit me there. I'll get you right. Okay. Also, shout out to my girl Raquel, man. She did, um, if y'all seen all those capes and robes and shit I've been wearing, even this shirt, Raquel Red, she made this for me, man. She a stylist, she dope. You know what I'm saying? She on her way, too. Nothing but custom fit. You see how that fit on me like a motherfucking superhero shit? Three of them. Yeah, we said, I, I seen a couple of them uh, that you posted. You had like a couple of different, like, robes, or whatever that she made. It was dope, though. That's fresh. Oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it, man. You gotta be, and to be organic, man, you gotta be original. You gotta be who you are. Like, I always been a different type of person, you know? And just be you, no matter what, man. Be yourself, man. Be organically who you are. Fuck everybody else, man. Be you. If they gonna ride with you, they gonna ride against you, or they gonna ride for you. Either way, you gotta be you and stand your ground, stand ten toes. Keep it organic from the fucking seed. For sure, for sure. And then, um, last of all things, you wanna give a shout to anybody else? Man, listen, shout out to any and everybody who fuck with me organically, man. You got love for me, I got love for you. Anybody who ever motherfucking listened to my CD, watched one of my videos, bought one of my shirts, you know, come up to me and yell three of them, it's nothing but love, man, because that takes a lot to pay homage. You know, it's easy to hate. It's hard to come up to a motherfucker you know and you just look at him and be like, Hey, man, I appreciate you. Anybody ever did that to me, it's nothing but love, man. I got love for everybody, man. Positivity and prosperity, all, man. Keep it organic from the seed. You know what I mean? Three of them. <laughs> that's what's up, man. For sure. And that's going to end it out. So, like I said, it's always the most exclusive live on Lake. WMG always coming at you with something new. This is three of them. Three of them from the motherfucking seed, man. Keep it organic. Look at the shoes, man. These more <laughs> jealous, by the way. <laughs> It's going to cost you, you know what I'm saying, a mortgage. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Live life, man. Be fresh. If you can't get it, it's cool. It's not for you, but it's for me. <laughs> Three of them. Got to let them know what it is. We're going to catch y'all next time.